Uh, Ethan. <laughs> Julian, how, how long have you been standing there? They heard you say that you were the one who poisoned Liz's punch, then we're finished. You gotta watch your big mouth. <laughs> going on here hide your eyes and Dora well, those two are so smitten with each other they don't even know we're in the room and I'll be called a saint before I allow such unbridled joy under my roof sorry you two you may think that your heartbreak is behind you but think again what spell shall we use on them, hey, sweet pea? Oh, Whitney, you can't leave yet. Honey, we love you. We need you and we love you, all of us. Whitney, you can't go and join a convent. You can't just leave your baby boy and never see him again. a stupid game of pool, are you? It's not the game, Bennett. It's the green you lost me when you blew it. Don't look, Pristine. He's nothing but a big, boorish bully. Shut up, Blondie. I'll make a seat cushion out of that fur ball you're holding. <laughs> Thanks for the game, sport. Anytime you want an encore. <laughs> you gave me your word. That money would end up in my pocket. Big mistake, Noah. Could be your last one. That's what I said. I'm in harmony, all settled in. Just the way I want it. I know what I have to do. Have a good nap. I'll be right outside if you need anything. Oh, Sheridan, it's Luis. He's been calling all over town looking for you here. that he found Marty. No, no, not yet, honey, no. He, he just wanted to hear your voice and make sure you were all right after the disaster. He, he misses you, Sheridan, desperately. No. No? I don't want to speak to Luis until he's found my son. You know, I was having a private mother-daughter conversation with Gwen, and none of that conversation is any of your business. She's hiding something. Oh, please, you wish. No, Teresa's right. I bet what she was saying before we came in was very interesting. What was it, Gwen? It was really, really none of your business. <laughs> yeah, and how dare any of you just barge into my boudoir anyway? We wanted to go over your statement with you, just to make sure that there was uh, nothing you might have left out that night in the church basement with even Liz. I already told you everything that I saw and heard. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like a little time alone with my daughter. No, not yet. Not until you two finally admit that you were the ones responsible for sending the information to the tabloid about Ethan's true return. Teresa, you're not going to judge that up again, are you? Ethan, it is time that you see exactly who your wife is. Oh so you can undo the mistake that you made the moment you married her instead of me. Uh, you know, enough! Enough! Out of my bedroom, you husband-chasing harlot! Did I touch a nerve? See, this happens every time I bring it up. One of these days, Ethan, you're going to see that I am telling you the truth. Yeah, man! 
Now I got some friends. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's go drink. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, lay down the blade, Payne, all right? We can work this out like reasonable men. That's not how I do things. Okay, you owe me, and I'm gonna collect one way or another. <sighs> Come on, man, you and I go way back. Don't remind me, it's always cost me money. Not this time, all right? I'll pay you back, I swear. Just let me get out of here and I can get you your money. Last time you did that, you were gone for six years. Yeah, but look, that was an oversight, right? Oversight this, Bennett. All right, I'm gonna have to make an example out of you. So the next jerk who tries to con me will think twice when he hears what I did to you. I'll pay his debt. How much does he owe you? You got cash? Cash, no, but I've got credit cards. Or I can have some cash delivered. <laughs> yeah, right. Your visa's probably hot, and if you're friends with this guy, I wouldn't trust your word as far as you can throw your pet rat. Hey, she's not a friend no of mine, all right? I just got my own idea as to how you can pay off your debt, Noah. No cash required. Don't you see how happy he is in your arms? Look how much he loves you. It is amazing. You know, it's like this every time she holds him. Whitney, you can't just walk away from your son. You know you love him. I didn't say I didn't love him, Chad. I mean, I realized just how much I loved him during the tsunami when I thought I lost him. Then you won't leave us. But see, love isn't enough. If anything, it's the reason I have to go. Little boy needs you, Whitney. Joining a convent is not the answer. It means giving up everything you've ever loved, everything that you've known. And most importantly, your little boy. Whitney, can you really say goodbye to your son forever? spell, aren't you? Oh, for Hades' sake, child. You have got to learn not to let your personal feelings get in the way of a witch's work. Our goal is to make everyone have pain and suffering who might otherwise be joyful. Do you understand? Oh. Oh? We enter you here, Fox's idea. Well, I'm all ears, dear. <laughs> he wants to spend the whole day with me and Maria and Endora. On top of all of his other great qualities. Well, you know. He's nuts about kids. Oh, yes, well, I'm sure that's a very nice plan for you and Maria. But uh, Endora and I have our own ideas. <laughs> really? Because I, from here, it looks like she's just... Well, it looks like she wants to come with us, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <sighs> yes, well, um... Yeah, well, what exactly do you have in mind? Right. Um, <clears throat> well, honestly, we, we haven't uh, figured that out yet. You know, we haven't gotten that far, but whatever it is, it's going to have to be on a budget, okay? Because I'm, I'm flat broke. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you said you were broke. Well, I could have swore I was. Can't believe I left a C note in my pants pocket. Looks like sky's the limit for my girls today, huh? Huh? Yeah! Whatever's going on in that twisted little mind of yours, Payne, just press the delete button, all right? Nobody lays a hand on the girl. Or her dog. Right, or her dog. You don't call the shots around here, Bennett. I do. And you got me all wrong. I wasn't thinking about anything dirty. On the contrary. What are you talking about? Look, how can she help me pay off my debt without any money changing hands? I'll show you this way. Gwen, don't just stand there, say something. Teresa, you're really, really beyond pathetic. You're grasping at straws. 
I know you're guilty, Gwen. Well, I know that you're delusional. Now, just because Alistair moved you in here as his latest bimbo of the month certainly you know doesn't what? give you... I actually knew what people would think of me when I accepted Alistair's offer, but I don't really care. Because now, I get to see my daughter whenever I want to, and I've got a better shot of proving to Ethan exactly who he's married to. Okay. Don't talk to her that way. Don't engage her that way, all right? This isn't helping. Okay. I've said all I needed to say. That girl is so mental. Gwen, oh Gwen, God. Gwen. This is not helping anyone. I love you. I love you. Where are you going? I am going with Julie, and we're going to work on Eve's case. You know, Rebecca, if you're keeping something from me that will help clear Eve, I will find out. I won't let her go to prison for attempted murder, no matter what it takes. You can't just run away like this, Wendy. Okay, look. All of you, I learned two things during the tsunami. One, that I love Miles more than anything in the world. And two, I still love you, Chad. I mean, we made love again. Oh, that is disgusting. Simone, you don't know what you're talking about. No, no, it's OK. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Her reaction is the same as anyone else's would be if they knew. Now, look, if I do stay here and spend time with my son, that would mean I would spend time with you, too. We both know what's going to happen. So please. Stop trying to talk me out of doing the right thing here. I have to leave. I have to leave forever. Sheridan, are you sure you don't want to talk to Luis? You haven't seen each other in weeks. He loves you so much. I'm positive. I, I made it very clear to Luis that I have nothing to say to him until he finds Marty. Luis, no, it's Ivy. I'm afraid not. Yeah, of course, I'll tell her. Uh, uh, good luck and, and take care. Well, he says he loves you, and he always will, no matter what. And you still love him. What is wrong with everyone around here? You know as well as I do that life is not a fairy tale. Sometimes love has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Well, my head knows that. I'm not so sure my heart ever will. Is there anything else, Ivy? What are you going to do if Luis doesn't find Marty? And with Alistair hiding Beth, that is a possibility. I can't let myself think that way. I just have to believe that my son will come home someday. But if he doesn't, you know what? I haven't thought that far ahead. Right now, I just have to take care of Mark. I mean, poor little guy. He wouldn't even go to sleep until I put him in the shirt that he was wearing when the tsunami... The tsunami hit that killed his mother. Yeah. It's a tragedy. And that shirt, it's his last link to his old life. He's lucky to have you, Sheridan, and you're lucky to have him, but he is not your entire life. What about Luis? I mean, would you really be happy without him? He's the love of your life. It's not like another man is going to walk through the door and replace him. May I help you with something, Chris? If you don't mind, the bulb on my bedside lamp has burnt out. No problem. I'll be right back. Oh, forgive me. Ivy, this is one of our B&B guests. Actually, our only guest at the moment, Chris. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Ivy Crane. First time in Harmony? Actually, yes. Uh, I'm here on some work. Oh, what sort? I'm a reporter. Ah, uh, let me guess. You're here to do a story on the tsunami and the after effects? Yeah. Here you go. Well, I'm, I'm late, so it was very nice to meet you, Chris. Yes, sir. 
Well, um, thanks for the bulb. Hey, for a full service bed and breakfast. Are you okay? You seem a little down. Do I? It's not that I know you that well, but y yeah. I'm just missing someone very much. Your son, Marty? How did you know I have a son named Marty? Get out of here, Fancy, all right? Whatever this is about, you don't need to watch. Watch? I wanted to help. This is woman's work here, Noah, and you guys, I think, would make a good team. Ew! This place is a pigsty. And we call this our kitchen. It's disgusting. Well, remember that next time you try to run a con on me. All right. One of you can watch, the other can drive. <sighs> oh, I am out of here. You're on your own with this filth, Noah. Look. Let him go! If you care enough about your man, then you will help him do the dishes, princess. Or else somebody else here is gonna be cleaning up a lot of blood off the floor. Okay, so, uh, we're in deep trouble here, Mother, because Ethan and Julian suspect that you're hiding something that would help even our trial. Honey... You and I are the only ones who know that I am the one who put the poison in Liz's cup, not Eve. Now we have this to worry about now, Mother. I've got Teresa living under the same roof as Ethan and me. Now she's got Alistair backing her. What if she's able to take Jane away from me? What if she manages to take Ethan away from me? Mother, you and I stand to lose everything we have. Honey, I want you to know that your mother and I will be here for you, no matter what. We're going to try to make this thing work. We're going to get back together again and be a family. Whoa, what, TC, what, th th let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, w which is it? Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> Girls, do you really need to ask? Same old story. Your mother has your father wrapped around her little finger. And she's not even sure if she wants to leave Julian yet. Okay, Liz, that is enough. Hey, what's going on with your parents is their business. All I care about is our family, me, you, and Miles. We don't have a family, Chad. Well, it's not the way I see it. We love each other, and we share a son together. Would you stop saying that? I mean, has anyone here ever heard the word incest? Simone, lay off. You really don't know what you're talking about. Of course I don't. I never do, do I? <sighs> don't leave us. I mean, forget about me, would you? Stay for Miles' sake. I mean, if you love him the way you say you do. If I love him the way I say I do, I'll leave today. Please stop making this harder than it already is. Whitney, please. I'll do whatever you say. It doesn't matter what you say or what you do. In the end, we're both going to give in to our feelings. Just let me go, okay? <laughs> Maybe Teresa was right after all. Right about what? Maybe love is all about fate. You know, maybe it was fate for Miguel to leave Harmony so that I would be free for when the right guy came along. Poppycock, okay. They're just trying to justify your wanton sexual desires. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, I thought you'd be happy for me instead of acting like an uptight old witch. I don't care what you think anyway, okay? Because I'm happy for once, and I'm going to enjoy it. Well, enjoy it while it lasts, okay? Because it's not going to last for long. In fact, doom and gloom is on our way. Well, what's going on here? Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, just stop, okay? I thought you were going to steer clear of Miss Bennett. Don't tell me you've ignored my warnings. Warning. See, I'm a big boy, all right? I make my own decisions regarding who I spend my time with, how I spend my time. It's up to me. Box, please don't tell me this is serious. I mean, she is trouble with a capital T. Just look at her, her out of wedlock child. Come on. Uh, anything, anything wrong, Ivy? No, 
We're fine, right? Yeah. Um, we were actually just trying to figure out where to take the babies today. Well, I was thinking maybe the park. The park, huh? Yeah. Go for some libation, Ivy? Double scotch or something? No. Thank you. It's starting with or without my spell. Fox is in for it. <laughs> Well, what are you waiting for? Look, just let her go, all right? She has nothing to do with this. Are you kidding me? Because that chick stumbled, you missed your shot. You lost my money and the game because of her. Now, either she helps you or you and her little dog pay. Don't you dare lay a finger on my pristine. <laughs> are you going to help the guy out or not? Oh, God. All right. Then get to it. You'll find everything you need under the sink. just another excuse for you to be in my arms. Well, I don't seem to be much of a help here. Perhaps I'll go find Eve and give her an update on the case. All right. Julian, tell her not to give up. You either. I won't. Ethan, I appreciate you agreeing to defend Eve, but uh, try not to put your own life in jeopardy in the process. <laughs> well... Gwen and I will be okay. No. I'm referring to you and Teresa. Try to see things from, from her point of view if you can. I love you both so much. She's going to bear leaving her son behind to join that convent. I remember when we were little, we used to talk about meeting the man of our dreams and having families. It was supposed to be perfect. So what happened? How did our lives get so messed up? What is wrong? What is... Nothing. Nothing when I'm in your arms. Look, everyone, I, I have to go. It's the only thing that makes sense for me. You're right. The two of you obviously can't control your base impulses when you're around each other. Simone. I am just agreeing with my sister. Hey, it's okay. I mean, at least somebody understands where I'm coming from. Simone, I really don't want to leave with us having all of these bad feelings that we have for each other. Um, because I just don't know if or when I'll ever, you know, I'll ever see you again. Oh, my God. You're serious about all this? But I want you to have this. Um, I won't have much use for it <laughs> where I'm going, so... Well, this is from Daddy's family. Yeah. He, he gave it to you because you're the oldest. Well, it's for you now. I promise I'll take good care of it. Good. Maybe one day you can pass it down to your daughters. Liz, um, 
I know that you're going through so much right now with daddy and everything, but <laughs> God, I just want you to know how much you've meant to me. I mean, you've been so supportive, especially with my singing, and it's meant a lot. Well, you're, you're a very talented young woman, and the music industry is gonna miss a real star. Just let me do this for my son, okay? It's the only good thing I can give him. How did you know that I have a son named Marty? I'm a reporter, Sheridan. I make it my business to know about the people around me. I also know you're a crane, which means there's no shortage of material about you in the archives. Sometimes I forget that my last name is Tabloid Fodder. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so suspicious. Oh, that must be... No, it's, it's just me. I uh, found this in the tsunami wreckage, and I was gonna write about it in my first article. Sorry, I, I don't I don't know what got into me. It's no problem. I hardly know you. You must think I'm a complete nut. Not even close. I know how difficult it is to be separated from your own child. You do? I didn't realize. Do you have children? Well, only one. I haven't seen him in a while. It's it's been very rough. I'm so sorry. Why haven't you seen your little boy? You know what I was thinking? I'm not so sure about the park, you know? It's probably still all wrecked from the tsunami. Yeah. It's probably gonna be like that, though, driving anywhere. The roads probably aren't cleared yet. Oh. Um, you know what, if, if we just had a couple of bikes, maybe, with some kid seats, yeah. you could take Maria, I'd take Endora, we'd be all set. What's that noise? Uh, I don't know, it's not like it was coming from the closet. from you're asking me you live here i swear i've never seen them before well if we just had a couple of helmets you know we'd be all right yeah good <laughs> well. <laughs> how do people live like this hey oh I want to be the first one to tell you this, but not everybody in the world has their own private staff at their disposal, all right? Wait, have you ever even been inside of a kitchen? Here. When I was about three, my nanny gave me a tour. Why am I not surprised? That was a joke. Of course, I've been in kitchens. Plenty of them. Good. Then you can give me a hand. It didn't sound like I had much choice. You know, look, with your attitude, I I'd rather just do it myself, all right? <laughs> You don't think I'm capable of helping you with this, do you? Well, let me think about that for a minute. Hmm. No, I don't. I mean, have you ever even washed a dirty dish? Plenty of times. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> hey! You break it, you buy it! Yeah, you're a real pro, Fancy. Excuse me, it slipped out of my hand. 
I'll show you I can do it. Can't believe Whitney's gone for good. Well, I'm still here, if that counts for anything with the two of you. Simone. Forget it. I'm going out. Where? To see someone who actually gives a damn about me. So, how's it feel? Your oldest daughter is so undone, she's gonna lock herself away in a nunnery just so she won't sleep with her half-brother. And your youngest daughter can't stand to be in the same room with you. Liz, please. Oh, and you, TC. You are making the biggest mistake of your life, breaking up with me so you can get back together with Eve. Don't you know yet that she is disloyal? She's self-serving. She is the most self-centered monster who puts everybody else's needs second to her own. If you think she's going to come running back to you, then you're a fool. But that's fine with me, because you deserve each other. What has happened to our lives, TC? What has happened to our lives? It's much easier with Christine's pre-wash. Hey, I won't tell if you don't. See? I told you I was good at this. <laughs> Now we can get out of this dump. Yeah, we would have been able to get out of here a lot earlier if you hadn't messed up my pool shot. Oh, fine. Blame everything on me if it makes you feel better. <laughs> From what I could see, you were probably going to lose the game anyway. Do you ever say anything nice? <laughs> what do you know? You did it. And you still have energy left over to squabble. Well, that'll stand you in good stead for your next job. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about, huh? You said if we did the dishes that my debt would be paid off. Like that would be fair compensation for the money you owe me? <laughs> Get real. This is for you. What's that for? It's a nasty job. But you two are just the pair to get it done. Tabitha, were you going to surprise the girls with these at Christmas? Is that it? You caught me, Fox. But why'd you buy two bikes and four helmets? Because I envisioned Kay and I taking the girls for a ride. Do you mind if I, uh, ride your bike? Be my guest. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm gonna go get Maria ready, and then I'll be back for a little sweetie pie here, okay? <laughs> Watch your P's and Q's, young lady. Under no circumstances is Fox to find out that he's your half-brother. Do you understand? Oh, Ian Kay think the tsunami was a disaster. Well, Hurricane Ivy's gathering force, so watch out. I'm doing this for you, Miles. This is your only chance for a normal life. It's me again, Whitney Russell. I've given what you said a lot of thought, and I have made up my mind. I have decided to join your convent and live here for the rest of my life. All of this is my fault. Every bit of our trouble springs from my not being brave enough to tell you and the girls the truth about my past life. Now Simone and Whitney despise me. I'm going to jail because of Liz's need for revenge. Oh, God, TC, I feel so lost. Sweetheart, you are not lost. 
You're here. You're safe. And it's right where I want you to be. What do you see? getting your knickers in a twist every time you feel threatened by Teresa. Well, I wish I had your confidence. What we all know as long as Teresa's in the picture, my marriage is on shaky ground. Well, you seem better than you were earlier. That's because you were holding me. <laughs> um, just, uh, right before you came in, I was getting a little, you know, shaky. Thinking that maybe things aren't going to work out for me after all. The truth is without you, I'm afraid everything is going to fall apart. And the next time, I'm not going to be able to put the pieces back together again. You've been able to see your little boy. Well, I, I travel so much. Oh, excuse me. Sounds like someone's waking up. Well, do what you have to do. It's got to help having another little boy to look after. It does. Right now, I'm just his foster parent, but I'm hoping to adopt him legally soon. I wonder if your mother still makes you shits out of this every year. Your grandfather asked you to uh, come to care about me. You're Mark's father? Really sorry for the way I treated you, Spike. Are you sorry enough to work the streets again? So who is it going to be? Who do you want to spend the rest of your life with? 